Hello everyone and welcome to Getting Started in the Technology Enabled Classroom. My name is Bernie Burns, your facilitator for this course. Just a few words about myself. I'm an experienced and licensed North Carolina teacher who have taught a range of students from freshmen to seniors from an English elective to AP English 3. And now I work with the Digital Learning Collaborative at the Friday Institute and in building professional development for teachers, ITFs, administrators, as well as Department of Public Instruction so that all educators have the same language and the same idea when we're talking about technology in the classroom. And before you get scared, I do want to say one thing. This course is really centered on the idea that technology does not replace teachers, nor does it replace good teaching. So. What it does and what we really push here at the Digital Learning Collaborative is that technology instead can support your personal teaching style as well as the activities and the, the projects that you have always used in your classrooms. And really looking at how we can utilize those two pieces and, and support them with technology. So this course is really about supporting your teaching style and your pedagogy with technology. So. Take a deep breath. I'm not going to tell you to throw out all your old activities, nor am I going to tell you to completely change everything that you've always done in your classroom. But instead, transition it and really look at how you can utilize technology to make your classroom more efficient, as well as um, support student learning through technology. So let's get started on this transition. I'm really excited to be working with you all. And um, just a, a word about the course. Um, you actually don't have to work log in to any of the tools that we'll be learning. You can just go to the website, use it, and and leave. You don't have to um, save the websites or remember a password if you come back later. That's not a requirement. So all the tools are going to be very, very easy to use. So if your tech skills aren't the highest, that is completely okay. I'm completely here for you. So if you need additional tutorials in using things, don't be afraid to contact me. I'm 100% here. So. That being said, um, just a few words about the course. So we have all our session activities broken down in the center of the screen. We have our course syllabus. Um, news and announcements are going to come out from here. So I'll be sending you um, weekly emails, updating you on what's going on in the course, as well as due dates for each week. We have the course forum. So if you have anything going on in life or in the course, you want to ask a question, Make sure to ask it in here, and the, your peers as well as myself will respond to you. This is where you check your progress in the course. I will be updating this site every Monday. So just a note about due dates. We're going to start each week on Monday. All assignments are going to be due on Wednesday. So you'll have one discussion post um, responding to the resources that we had each week. And then we're going to have an activity with the tool. So both of those original due dates are going to be due on Wednesday. So I highly encourage you to work ahead of time over the weekend. So if you know that you're going to be really busy on Monday and Tuesday, to make sure that um, you get everything done, make sure to work ahead of time and work over the weekend and get everything done. And then um, peer replies to the discussion post. So the first thing, first activity that you did, the discussion post, make sure to reply to peers, at least two of them, by Friday. So that's going to be due dates, just Wednesday, and then peer replies by Friday. That's all you need to know. <sighs> Moving on, um, we also have RSS feeds from um, Edutopia. So this will actually update automatically. It is actually updating from the Edutopia blog site, which is a wonderful education site. So uh, make sure to check back. There might be something that um, speaks to you or something that's going on in your classroom. Make sure to check out the updates there. Now let's uh, take a quick look on what our assignments are going to look like each week. Okay, so um, you'll probably have two or three resources every week. Some in video form, some are blogs, some are um, websites, etc. So uh, make sure to check out the resources. Next, respond to the discussion questions, which should only be about two or three every week. Then you will have an activity, and it will walk through um, all the steps of the activity as well as give you a visual guideline to use in all of the activities. So when you're using a tool, make sure to follow through um, the written explanations as well as the visual, and if you need additional help, again, please don't hesitate to contact me. 
And then um, last, there'll be a little bit of feedback at the end. This is the introduction forum, so that's why that doesn't show. And if you want to navigate back, you can pull that. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. You're going to have rubrics, so um, this should really guide what you're doing in the course. Every week will have its own set of rubrics. So this will be with the discussion forum. It will give you your due dates of every week, Wednesday and Friday, as well as an explanation of what you should do for the activity with the tool. Um, I think that is all I have for this discussion on the course. And if you have any questions, again, please don't hesitate to contact me. I am here for you 100%, and I am so excited to start working with you guys. So um, have a great week. Let's get started.